Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station. Today I have a bit of a different video. This video is going to be really polemic and I have no idea why I tried to record it this many times, but I think now I know. This is a really delicate topic. Today I want to talk about non-commentary Sonic tubers. And let me tell you something, despite being one, I don't watch non-commentary Sonic tubers. I don't like many of their practices and I think they end up bringing more negativity to their audiences than good things on the long run. So today we are going to talk about that. But before we start, I want to say something. I can not connect with someone's work. I am free to not like someone's work, but that doesn't mean I am attacking them. That doesn't mean I don't like that person. It just means that I don't like their work or their approach to their work. I understand that many of the Sonic tubers that I'm going to talk about, they are the main non-commentary Sonic tubers. They use their channel as their job. And it's a job. When you are making a job, you always want to focus on making more profit with the same work. So it is understandable why these strategies are used. This video is going to be focused on videos on YouTube, where I think videos should be about you, should be about your experience and speaking with your community, and not as a job. So I want to keep that clear. Well, today I'm going to speak about four things that I really hate, the negative impacts that I think they have, and I want you to reflect about an idea at the end. I think it's really important for many of you in the Sonic community. So, there are four things that I really hate on many of these Sonic tours. There are some names that I come up to my, that come up to my name to my to my brain. We can say that Blue Vivacity, Sonic Central, um, Sonic Terminal, Sonic Plasma, Sonic Beyond. These are the main Sonic tubers that I am speaking about because I think that they have these things that I don't like in common. And there are four things. YouTube is of course a platform of making videos and money is generated through clicks. I understand that. However, what I don't really understand is this overly obsession of making something not genuine on YouTube. And that's my main problem with these four topics that I don't really like. I think that these Sonic tubers don't make genuine videos. And genuine in what terms, I'm going to explain. Let's start with the thumbnail, which is the number one thing I don't like. Most of these Sonic tubers use unrealistic, um, we can say unrealistic renders, unrealistic Sonic models. Something that looks like super high quality 8K looking, like with tons of shadows, tons of lights, tons of everything on a non-realistic background. And that's cool. It's a cool image. However, when you open the video, it's not going to look as good as that image. But that image is aiming to be the most perfect looking thing for you to click, and that's something that I really hate, and focus on the word perfect. Number two, you have sensationalist titles. Yes, titles are not made by many of these Sonic tubers as something genuine, because you are not saying what you are playing, at least at that time. What you are saying is basically something that provokes your audience to click on the video. Think about it. When you see something that has a title like the best Sonic game you have never played. This new Sonic world is amazing. The, is this the best Sonic game? Is this the best Sonic mod? This mod is out of this world. What you are going to feel is the urge to click to see if that affirmation is right or if you are wrong on this because you are going to feel confronted. Now think about it, does the title really speak about the video? Well, it doesn't, because the title is made for you to click and not speak about the video, and that's the thing that I really hate. Third thing that I hate is when they record the video, 
what they tried to do is removing the HUD, removing all the text, and having a super clean, super high quality image. An image that looks almost perfect throughout the thing of the video. That's why there are no result screens, there are no loading screens, there are no, no text, no anything. Because you want everything to look clean and perfect. Now, there's the fourth thing that I don't really like. It doesn't connect as much, but you will see that it ends up connecting. It's covering the same content on the same day at the same time. Look, I know when something is new, everyone wants to cover it. But does it has to have to be like the same way of covering? Does everyone has to cover that thing on that day? Trust me, they don't. And that's the thing that really annoys me, because it ends up being more of a race to be the first to cover than anything else. These are the four things that I hate. And you know what this makes me think? This makes me think about perfect. And maybe you are thinking, well, perfect is something that has no flaws. If it doesn't have flaws, you shouldn't be criticizing its station. But that's the problem. Nothing is really perfect in our lives. Think about it. When you watch the video, the video is not perfect. The video is always not going to have the perfect playthrough, not always having the perfect quality. Maybe you are not watching with the perfect internet to even see on the perfect quality. However, when you watch 1, 2, 3, 30, 300 videos, what this ends up promoting is the idea that you should always aim for, for perfection and that if it is not perfect, you shouldn't even waste your time with it. And I think that's really bad because that's going to generate two things. First is expectations, because you are going to have high expectations of something being perfect, and then disappointment. And that's something really bad. YouTube used to be a place where you shared your honest experience on playing something. Making something look good is okay, I'm not mad with that. But we are going to reach a thing where we are losing more YouTube as a platform for you and we are getting more of a, corp a corporate, we can say, practices and a corporate way of having something look like an ad. Think about it, You, when you are watching these kinds of videos. What are you buying? You are buying nothing. You are clicking on someone that has the most beautiful head, but then you see that the content doesn't look like you wanted it to look, and so you live with a gain clicks and they gain views. And those are things that are I really, really dislike. Everyone is a person. Everyone has to deal with the fact that Sometimes things are not perfect. Not everything is perfect, and that's okay. Embracing the imperfection or working throughout imperfections to make something better is the most beautiful thing you can acknowledge in your life. And I think these kinds of videos end up feeling like something that ended up being discussed a lot here 10 or 15 years ago. When you look at a magazine, you look at a model that looks all perfect and then has photoshopped to enhance the image that you are watching. And, well, if you are an adult, of course you have that idea that that is not real. However, many kids and teens end up reporting at that time that they felt like they didn't fit in. They felt like they were never going to be beautiful and that end up developing insecurities, that end up developing like distrust and everything and a distorted image of themselves. These videos do the exact same thing. Think about it. Nowadays we don't have many Sonic tubers that make content because they want to make the content that they like. The content that they make ends up being the content from others. We are losing creativity because being creative is not is being different and being different is not being normal and not being normal is not fitting in and being different sometimes ends up being worse and you don't want to be worse. 
And I think these ideas are starting to become a lot of parts of our brains. And it shouldn't be that way. Understand something. No one is perfect. Everyone has insecurities. Everyone has moments where they feel good and moments where they don't feel good. We have to manage how to live with these things. I've been noticing a lot on other social media that kids and teens are nowadays even more insecure than before. And that doesn't really make sense because they are used to communicate more. But that's because communication has not been genuine for a long time. And I think that even in these videos, which are a way of communicating, we are seeing that something that is from a place that is meant to be genuine is not being genuine. And it's developing this idea that if you are not perfect, you are not cut for it. You are not going to be successful. You are going to generate this idea that if you can't buy the best thing or try the new thing now, you are not going to fit in. And that's terrible. What I want to incentivize you with this is not to not watch these content creators. It's to just embrace that sometimes what you see is not the reality. And you should act in a way that is more healthy for you. Living with YouTube and just YouTube alone is a big mistake. There are experiences outside. And it, it is okay for you to not be this image of perfection and watching things that are not perfect. We should learn to value a product of what it is and not what its initial contact looks like. And I think it's really important for you to do that. And that has been a thing that has been missing. How many times you don't meet someone important or someone incredible because you focus on their looks. And a book shouldn't be judged by its cover. So why are you so focused, and many of you focused on looking at these thumbnails and assuming which is the best Sonic tuber or which is the best source to watch content? I think these Sonic tubers indirectly are promoting an idea of a distorted world, basically. And what I suggest is trying to keep things a bit more real and sometimes speaking with your fans. There, are, there is actually a fifth thing that I don't really like, which is, and I saw this, and I, let me tell you, I, I felt really offended, which is memberships that guarantee you for people to answer you. That's ridiculous. You shouldn't pay to have an answer from someone that is a person. I think these things are making good Sonic tubers not be good people, and you should value good people in your lives, and not these kinds of factions. And so, today I wanted to talk about why I don't watch non-commentary Sonic tubers. They focus more on numbers than on people, and I focus more on people than on numbers. And that's where I ended up wanting to say with this video. If you are a Sonic tuber watching this, try to keep things a bit more real. Don't be afraid of trying out something new and don't focus on numbers. Focus on bringing your real experience to others. I record my gameplays because um, I want to transmit what I play and it's what I play in the videos. You don't have to make something that others make. You have to be yourself. And you should be okay with being yourself. So don't feel bad about being different. Feel bad about trying to like something that you know that is not realistic. Because that's bad for your health. And you don't want bad for yourself. Well, I think that this video end up being a bit more of a divagation than anything. I'm sorry if I went out a bit of my way, but I wanted to talk about this because I think that it is important for us to live in a world that is more honest, and I think many of these contents are not honest. So, this was today's video. Sorry if I generated a bit of a polemic here, but it is what it is. 
thank you very much guys for watching i just want every single one of you to be happy share your ideas share your opinions respect others and well that's basically it wish you all a nice weekend nice week everything cool and good for your families take care have an awesome day and really importantly stay safe see you